Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 136. Um, shout out to all the YouTubers that's been watching my baseball videos. We're just trying to gear up, get in a habit, get in a rhythm for the Madden season. We're definitely attacking Madden full on. How many weeks are away, wait, boys? Two weeks or like three weeks, pretty much. Three weeks, dog days of summer. We are planning Boss Bot Wars 4. So throughout the show, we'll have more info on that. You know, it, it's... It's been a good summer, boys, right? It's been a good summer. It's been a good summer. I think we're all ready for Madden. I know I am. No matter how much I play baseball, we're all ready for Madden, right, boys? Right, boys? My man Manny with 11 months. You guys can watch the show live. Normally, it's Tuesday, but, you know, I have the sun now, so the guy held up yesterday for sure with my son. So today, we're going to do it Wednesday. We're going to do it Wednesday, and we're talking but normally we do a show every Tuesday around 8, 9 p.m. on Twitch. You guys know those links are below, but most of you guys probably already know that. The chat is already here. Look at them. They're nasty. They got Henny's in the chat. We're already hype training early. Pops is here. Pops, they spoke crazy. They were speaking crazy about Pops because of my man Seabird. The Seabird has been going crazy. He's been going crazy. But, you know what I'm saying? I know it's been... It's been the summertime, so Madden's definitely been... <sighs> back burner is not the word. We have no information. Um, the biggest information that we got, the biggest information that we have is that MCS is on the next gen. What else happened in Madden in the last month? That's probably the biggest, biggest news that we got. Madden, competitive MCS Madden will be on the next gen. Therefore, everything will be on the next gen nobody's playing the old gen so let me know now boy are you guys uh old gen or new gen what are you guys playing currently right now i just ordered a ps5 so i have a ps5 along with my xbox for madden season excited about that uh both i mean when you have damn pops fuck see okay pops that's how you feeling let's go let's get it my man pops with 10 months straight um one of my buddies got got me a PS5 uh, for six hundred. Thought that was the deal. Yeah, more. Than, yeah, see. So we'll see. I mean, I, it's a lot of talk about my man Splice Mode with eleven months. The hype train is reaching level two, eighty percent of the way to level two. No, but for real. Um, listen, if you're if you don't have next gen. Um, and you just want to play Madden, I'm sure the old one, I, I will tell you this, Madden 21, the old gen was way better than next gen. So if you don't have next gen, you're not going to get next gen. My man, Rob with the gifted, don't feel like you're really missing out. Now, if you're a super competitive guy, you'll be missing out. And, you know, uh, we talk about uh, investing in yourself. If you're good enough to make MCS runs and win tournaments and play competitively, uh, that's what you have to decide. Am I going to invest in myself? Uh, to make the make a run at tournaments, you know. So if you're not on that level, it doesn't matter that much, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? You could get the series S. That will work. It's not as powerful, but if you're playing Madden, I'll be honest, it doesn't matter that much, really. Um, so that's all. Uh it, it kind of goes back to do you invest in your Madden team? If you if you think you're gonna win money playing Madden. It's a good investment, right, boys? If you think you can win a belt, if you think you can make a run in a tournament, uh, it's a good investment. And I will tell you from experience, man, if you have any, like, doubt, if you think you can, just go for it, man. I lived my whole life with that doubt of it's not worth it. I shouldn't play at this tournament. I shouldn't go to this tournament. When I've always been that good. But, I, but, you know, until it was free in Madden 16, I really was like, yeah, I'm not wasting money on it, really. But, you know. Yeah, I, I, I listen. I'm not an expert at following accounts, getting getting PlayStations when they drop, and beating the bots or ordering PlayStations. I'll be honest. I'm a regular human being, so that was never for me, for real, for real. So, you know, so some people are better than you. That that's why, and but and that's why I wind up paying those guys. That's what I did. I just paid one of my buddies. He, he got it done. They hit me up and said, I got PlayStations for sale. I said, okay, I'll do it. You know. 
Yeah, I would say the uh, I would say the PlayStation was a lot harder to get. Like I said, I got my uh, I got my Xbox. Well, I bought my Xbox the day before it came out, so. Really. I I just feel like you, Madden season, you should kind of always have both. So if you're, like, really a sweat and you're really a streamer or you're really getting after it, I feel like both systems are viable. It's fun. It's good. You get to play with Wesley. There he is. Wesley, I heard it's so slow that it's going to be easy for old people to make reads and shit. Like, I always have the plays. Like, I know what plays to call. You know, play, my play calling is really, but sometimes it happens too fast. But now that it's slower, I'm back. 30 plus Madden's going to go crazy. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Drag post, make a read, dude. I'll put the right, I'll put the right play on the field. I'll tell you, I I always put the right play on the field. All right, pops, pops, yo, relax. Seahawks is right there. We gotta check in now, cause pops is getting crazy. There he is. Seahawks is less than a hundred away, and and the way it's been going, he's gonna be around seven hundred tonight. That's, we'll see. We'll see. But Madden season has not yet started yet. Madden season has not yet started. So the count the count really doesn't get serious until Madden season starts, to be honest. So it's all good in, in the summertime, but there we'll see. See? Pops the crazy one. He not going to let Seahawks catch him. He not going to let Seahawks. Flanker dig is going to be a great play in Madden. That when the user can't move, oh my god, flanker dig is going to just whore. We close to the 24 hour. There it is. Goals? Skull? Skull is at 3K. Did I, oh, did I say Skull 2900? That was yesterday. Today, Skull is 3, 3K. Yeah, so I, I see no downside. I see no downside of MCS being on next gen. I think at this point we all have it. If not, uh, you're lacking. Go get, go find it, man. Go find it. It was no, really, honestly, I did not have Xbox 360 until Madden 08, and they started calling it the current gen. And I think that's the step now that this is the current gen, right, boys? So I think we're now part of the current gen. So, let's do what you got to do. Yeah, I think it's now the current gen, which is good. The slow gameplay, I might dominate this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See, y'all ain't even know Seahawks was lurking. Y'all ain't even know. He was lurking with the five. Yeah, Xbox is easy. If you, if, if Like I said, if you're good enough... If you're good enough, you should invest. The Seattle Kraken. Did they get any good players? <laughs> well, David, that's why you have the internet. It's not fucking 2001 anymore. Where you gotta go outside and knock on mom and pop stores. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's hard to get. It's hard to get an Xbox in New York. <laughs> what are you going to Best Buy? Damn. Pops, you got to chill, man. I just, I just got a PS5 for 6. I gave I gave the guy 7 though. Cuz I thought it was 650. I thought he told me 650 and I said I'm going to tip him 50 bucks. But then he told me 6 and I was like, "Damn, I already tipped him. 100 was a pretty big tip, I'll be honest." Timo, what's up? I feel like you have to tip if somebody gets you a. Uh, no, I feel like you have to tip, right? If someone, no, if someone gets you like a system, like they go out of their way to order it for you and they're gonna ship it to you, I feel like you have to tip, right? I I, I tip pretty much everything. I tip people all the time. Nah, I feel like you gotta tip. I feel like you gotta tip. Y'all nasty. I feel like you have to tip. I feel like you have to. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty, dude. Y'all nasty. Y'all 
Yeah, but then on top of that, then it's like a lot of times with me, it's like, oh, I'll get it for you for I'll get it for you for retail. Or normally I charge eight, but for you, I'll do X, Y, and Z. I was like, I, I don't want to feel like, oh yeah, I deserve that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I guess when I always worked, like when I did people's gardens and cut their trees and shit, and when they gave, even if they came out and gave you ten dollars cash, the tip that was a big deal for real. I tip every single order, everybody. Uber Eats is like glitched now. You kind of have to, unless unless you go in there and tip zero. I tip everybody. I tip everybody. Honestly, if you don't tip people, you've never worked a day in your life. I, that's how I feel. If you don't tip, you have never worked. Never worked. Period. That's how it works. That's how it goes. I'm saying, it is, that's a good deal. It's like, damn, it make you feel good. It make you feel like, damn, okay. I feel that, you know what? I, I feel blessed to be able to tip. That's like, I, I, I take pride in the fact that I'm able to tip people. I don't know. It's like, you know, I take pride in the fact I'm able to buy. Uh, but we went out to the family reunion. I take pride that I'm able to pay for dinner for my whole family. You know, that's like, a prideful thing. Then the worst part is Uber Eats and DoorDash be so goddamn expensive. You can't tip. What, what the? What type of ass backwards human being are you? One, you're paying twenty dollars for an eight dollar fucking sandwich. So you don't give a shit about money. You're just an asshole, right? That's how I feel. If you don't tip like DoorDash or something like that, but I, for real. Because this is how I feel, right? This is how food delivery has always worked, right? If you go and pick it up, you never tip, right? If you order a pizza, I'll pick it up in 20 minutes, right? You don't tip those people. They just made your pizza, right? But if they deliver the shit, now you got to tip. You have to tip them because you're a lazy fuck, all right? Right? That's how it works. So since you're a lazy fuck and you didn't want to get out and get your own food... You got to tip people because you're lazy. That's literally how America works, all right? You're lazy. You got to pay a little more extra money. That's how DoorDash works. That's how Uber Eats works. Now, they tax you already for being a lazy fuck, right? My man Young Goat with 10 months, for real. Car side pickup, I would say no. I mean, now I'll tell you this. Do they give me the, the check to sign like a restaurant? Then I, I'll throw a tip in there, like five bucks or something like that. But if it's like, I don't know. Like if I already paid with my car, I don't know. Depends. Probably a little bit. Not not OD. Not like I ate at the restaurant. Like eating at the restaurant is always 20%. Like always, at least. Oh, yeah. I'll probably give a little something. I'll be honest. I don't give a shit. I never do it because, oh, I feel sorry that this is this person's job. They need to make money. I'm just grateful that they gave me some shit. I never feel, I never feel bad for somebody for having a shit job. Let's not, let's not like start fucking spilling milk because somebody's a goddamn delivery boy. All right. That's his fault. Go cut down trees. You make way more money than delivery. All right. Go carry some logs. Go do some, tra go be a trash man or some shit. Go cut some lawns, All right? My man, Colin, with 21 months, for real. So I, I've never felt bad about somebody having a, a bad job, for real. But I guess that's because I, I, I was in the, uh, like, the labor industry, right? So when you're in the labor industry, like, you see a bunch of people working, and then, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can work with Shaw. Shaw wash trash trucks. He do good. Yeah, Lance. So that's not why you tip. You never tip because this person needs it's it's more just a gratitude, that's all. I mean Drew was seven months. DJ, what's up, man? Exactly, it's a thankful. Speak of Trey, see? This dude Trey's a fucking scumbag. I 
I'm not tipping nobody and shit. That's how you know Trey ain't ever work, bro. That's how you know Trey ain't ever have a job. I tell you about the summertime when Trey was like, yo, I'm going back to work. After Mad Season, Trey was like, yeah, I'm about to get this new job. He ain't show up. Nah. Ain't no side of the story. We've seen a side of the story. Tip the ride. What the fuck are you talking about? A driver? Yeah. Drenny has never been the fuck outside. You can't even if you listen, if there's if there is like a morality, like real life situation, and you and Drenny are on the same page of that situation, you're definitely wrong. Alright? I listen. All right. Say you got a couch, right? You want to put your couch away. All right. Here's a good answer. Garbage man is a good point. Now, if they're doing regular ass job, no, you don't tip them. But say you put a couch and you want to put that bitch in a trash truck. Yes. Here's twenty dollars. Put that bitch in the trash truck for me, so I don't gotta throw it out. When I when I ask you to go do extra shit, fuck yeah, you gotta do something. It's not even that Drenny hasn't been outside. You got to understand, as soon as Drenny became older, he was like a Madden star. Like, he never had that buffer zone. He went from being a kid to being a, a video game star. So, like, he ain't need to go outside, for real, for real. My man Reed, 28 months. What's up, man? It's just scum. It's just scum. Like I said, you're already a lazy fuck for ordering DoorDash. You don't want to tip the delivery people. You go pick the shit up yourself. That's the whole extra part is delivering the shit. That's the extra part. Go pick it up. I seen Trey's Honda. Trey showed his Honda. He did a house tour. It was like, this is my Honda right here. We ain't going to talk about what year it was, but he showed that joint. He said, this is my Honda. It was missing a hubcap, but he could hop in that bitch and he could go to the fucking store. Trey got a crazy Honda. You know what I'm saying? He did. I mean, he ain't flex it crazy. He was just like, that's my Honda. He ain't like pose in front of the joint or nothing, but he's like, that's my Honda. It, he said, it, he said, it does what it do. That's what he said. And he could get up and go to fucking Little Caesars. You know what I'm saying? So he's playing Madden and all of a sudden says, I'm hungry. Bro, you got to learn how to eat like mid. Come on, bro. We just have to agree, chat, that ordering food is some lazy shit. Agreed? Can we just... Like, you have to pay the toll for, for getting the food delivered. That's all. You got to pay the toll. It's some lazy shit. That's all. And we all do it. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Money's tight. Then get the then then don't deliver. Then how how can we say money tight and get a twenty dollar fucking sandwich from DoorDash? That shit's not cheap, bro. If money's tight, DoorDash gotta get deleted, right? Bro, Uber Eats probably just. I'm telling you, it's like before I look, it's sixty dollars for a meal. Swear to God, there's no way. If if you're really struggling, there's no way those apps are on your phone. It's it's terrible. I, in fact. You could old school just call the call the Chinese store up and or get them to deliver it, and it's way cheaper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Four is twenty dollars in account, eighteen dollars for a burger. Come on, bro. And I be and this is the craziest part, man. Here go the craziest part. My my bit is the Starbucks, the iced coffee, right? Damn, I'm about. I gotta watch the kid. Let me order the iced coffee. Boom. The iced coffee, a, a extra large iced coffee from Starbucks, already like four dollars, right? So I get on Uber Eats, I, I hit the boom boom. Okay. I don't know how they have all these fees. Somehow it's ten dollars, right? Now ten dollars, 
it's for me. It's like I'm. It's worth it. All right, let me go ahead and get them to deliver that joint, ten dollars. Cause I'm gonna get it outside. I'm gonna go down and have my iced coffee. It's good. For me, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? I know it's stupid, but it's worth it, right? But then they try to tack on when you catch them at the wrong time, right? If you catch them at the wrong time, that bitch went from ten to sixteen dollars. And then I look at it like. Right? That's how you look at it. Like, and you look at it like, this is a bitch. But what are your options? Now, is that extra $10 worth me getting out of my seat, going in the truck for what well, was probably 20 to 30 minutes? Boom, and wait in the line and go get a Starbucks. Some, I don't think I went $16. I, I'm definitely going 10 though. 10 for sure. Actually, we got the Amazon Prime. Now, you don't know this. Amazon Prime, uh, she gets Whole Foods for free. Whole Foods gets delivered for free. And they just put it at the door. Like, you don't even meet them. I've never been a believer in the food shopping for you. But uh, the Amazon Prime, yeah. The Amazon Prime is definitely the glitch. I don't know. She does it. But I'm assuming yes. I don't know. I don't do the food shopping part of the family. But there's something too. Food food shopping is it's not like I don't want to say it's therapeutic, but it's like sometimes you go there and you be like, oh shit, that looked good, and all of a sudden you got a meal that you didn't even think about, really. For real, for real. Sometimes, like even Walmart, dude. Walmart will get you inspired to do some shit. Yo, Daryl. Oh, I will tell you what's the most overrated thing in the world, though. The most overrated thing is self-checkout. She loves it. I will wait my five minutes to let somebody else scan my shit and bag my shit. One million percent. Self-checkout is trash. Unless you're holding... Like, if you got enough shit you can hold, right? Okay. Like, you got a soda and a bag of chips and maybe a bottle... Like, some, some shit you just got... You're just holding. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. But if I got a cart of anything... Yo, it'd be motherfuckers in there with a whole cart scanning and bagging at the same time. Yo, you would have been home sleeping, eating the goddamn food if you would have just went to a regular checkout line. I, I, I am not a big stealing out of the self-checkout line. This is my thought on the stealing out of self-checkout. One, are you picking up shit that's that expensive, right? Right? What's really that expensive? I, I remember one thing I stole. I was making... This was back in my my bachelor days. I was making French toast, right? For some In the morning, right? And this fucking vanilla extract, this little ass bottle was like $17. I was like, what the fuck? So I remember that. that I can look back on that. And this is how I feel about self-checkout. This is my biggest fear of self-checkout, right? Imagine getting fucking caught. You cannot feel like a bigger asshole in the world than getting caught at the self-checkout line, right? What is the worst, more embarrassing thing than that? Yo, 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 you gotta go through that. Now, it probably never happens. But that 1% chance that somebody steals, catches you stealing some shit, oh, you look like such an asshole. For what? To save $7? Come on, bro. It's not... Now, if y'all stealing TVs or we're stealing Xbox Series Xs, okay, hit me in the DM. I want to be part of the scam. But y'all stealing bananas and shit. Like, we're really not getting anywhere in life if we're stealing bananas. Come on. Yeah, look at Jameis Winston. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so I've never been stealing a self check. So I really think self checkout is, is overrated. That's all. I'm always let me wait in a line. For real, for real. Crab legs are expensive. Well, maybe you should have the fucking money to eat crab legs then. 
And if not, I'll be honest, crab legs are great. Crab legs, lobster, they're all a dub. Are they worth what they're called? Fuck no. Bro, do you know how many snow crab legs I could kill? Bro, 10 pounds of them shits. And I'd still be hungry. Are they good? They're amazing. They're amazing. Snow crab legs are amazing, dude. But come on. You eat a pound of snow. Like, you going to eat. It's going to be $300. <laughs> Go get the crab yourself. Yeah, like. The biggest glitch is when you get the all you can eat. Uh, Chickies and Pete's in Philly used to have, like, Wednesday all you can eat snow crab legs. Okay, now it's a glitch. For real. Yeah, I, so it's not it's not that it's not that uh I let's, let's put it this way. Crab crab legs are a luxury. You know, it's not like somebody's meal, you know. Listen, boys, if you're stealing fucking bread and eggs to feed your family, steal that shit, bro. All right? Can we agree? If you got to steal bread and eggs to feed the family, steal that shit. Matter of fact, I might block I might block the security guard for you. You're not missing shit by not eating crab legs, all right? You're missing $30 and a couple bites. That's what you're missing. It's a luxury. Nothing wrong with stealing from a billionaire. So where do we draw the line? What if we steal from a millionaire? What if someone has $100 and I got $1, so that means I can steal from him? What type of argument is that, AP? That sounds like a bullshit argument to me. I don't know. Risk, what's up, man? I just don't think the reward is not worth the risk of stealing from a supermarket. Now, I'll be honest, as a kid, I told y'all about how we used to run through 7-Eleven. We used to be like Ocean's Eleven in 7-Eleven. It was unreal. Ten of us would go in that bitch. Half of the store would come out of the bitch. Swear to God. But, dude, I'm 34. What do I look like stealing from the... What do I look like stealing in general? I mean, bro, yo... Thieves are like the lowest form of human. I swear to God. Y'all y'all low, for real. Y'all low. Y'all low. Especially people that steal from other people. Pfft. Especially people that steal. Yo, you steal from other people. Oh, my God. That is the lowest. Re, I tried to tell them, Re, they never listened to me. Dudes would have empty book bags and come out, look like they're hiking, hiking Mount Everest with their book bag. Like, how did that happen? My man Nas with the 13 months, man. Muck. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Dude, we but that's when we was like kids, like as an adult, you shouldn't be stealing, bro. You shouldn't be stealing. I mean, you shouldn't be stealing. That's why y'all don't have next-gen systems now. Because y'all never needed money because y'all just stole shit. If y'all had integrity, y'all would have a next-gen system. Just saying. Just saying. Like, look look at Trey. He never tipped nobody. So, he Trey got an extra $5 every time he eats. And he still got the 03 Honda. That's what's crazy. How do you got an extra $5 every time you eat? That's three meals a day. You got to understand, Trey doesn't do shit but Uber Eats. He got DoorDash every day for three times. That's $15 a day and still got the old three, huh? He ain't doing something right. I Honestly, when I think about it, Trey definitely steals shit from the grocery store. One million percent. Trey's still a cereal? He's still the Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the pants? No, he don't, bro. Trey don't put Cinnamon Toast Crunch box in his pants, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> he he, he got to walk out like this. Yo, he got to walk. Trey walk out of the supermarket like this and shit. Ray, we ain't still shit. I stole shit in Vegas. I ain't still shit. No, I ain't still shit. He wear a big hoodie. 
<laughs> Hold on, let me check Needed Gaming. I did put an order in for a 4X hoodie. <laughs> let me check that real quick. <laughs> the zipper jaw, you can just push it in. You can just, oh, push it in. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really a sneak. I'm not, I don't sneak food in the movie theater. One, it's not like you're gonna be there for eight hours, right? Oh, we did dining dash that nasty. Dining dash is a little bit different though. Dining dash is a little bit different. I plus I was like beyond plastered. It don't count. I was beyond drunk that first day of it, but I was beyond. I was plastered. No, for real. Because first of all, the movie theater is two hours, right? You don't need to eat. Like <laughs> most of the time, the movie is accompanied with some type of date, right? Like let's go to dinner first. Okay, so you're not hungry. And plus, the the movie theater popcorn is cracked. Like don't, y'all don't want that? Yeah. Like I feel like it's worth it. I don't know. I, we like the popcorn. I don't know if y'all like it. That shit is good. For real, for real. Now, I'll be honest. Uh, the large popcorn never gets killed. I don't know how it works. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to eat this. I eat like I eat like a quarter of it, but I'm over it. Yeah, it's either that. It's either I don't eat it or I kill it before the movie come on. Yeah, movie popcorn is, is good. It's worth it, I think. Like you gotta factor the movie popcorn into your budget for the movie night, right? That's why we bought Black Widow for thirty dollars. Cause our thought process was if we went to the movies, we'd probably spend forty. So we bought it and just watched it with the boy. You know what I'm saying? Swiss rules. Prevalent, shut up. <laughs> Kabayo, what the yard? Bro, first of all, the fire stick is trash. The fire stick is trash. Fire stick is trash. I don't want to hear about streaming shit. I don't want to hear about... Li- no, it's trash. If you want to watch a movie and have it look good, fucking spend the money, dude. I never want... Like, like obviously, I knew I could have watched. I could have went to my computer and I could have hooked up and found Black Widow for, for free 99 and it would have looked... I would have watched it and been cool. But, no, Fire Stick is trash. That shit's trash. That shit's trash. Trash. I mean, if you like low-quality shit, you're probably hitting low-quality bitches, too. It looks like trash. I've never seen a fire stick movie and said, yo, this is fucking good looking. I've watched them. We've glitched them. But does it look good? No, it looks like shit. No, that shit is that shit is 480p. Oh, I, got the, I saw the movie though. Come on, bro. Nobody trying to hear that shit. Nobody trying to hear that shit. For me, it's worth it. Let me spend my thirty and watch the bitch. Now it's not like now. Now let's relax. Now it's not like that shit happens every week. Hell yeah, fire stick movies. Then you gotta spend. This is the worst part. You gotta spend an hour and a half to find the right link, right? That's how I am. Okay, this one's okay. It could be a better one out there though, right? This one's this one's seven twenty. But it could be a 1080 out there. Let me keep searching. Next one you search for, here's Tom, Dick, and Harry in the front row. Oh, that one's ass. Let's get to the next one. Yeah, it's in a different line. Come on, man. Y'all got to keep it real about Fire Stick. This shit's not good. By the time you're done finding a link, I watched my movie and I'm doing something else. Fuck, man. Some shit is just worth it to me. Some shit is just worth it. Y'all spend five hours to find a link, watch a movie. Then the joint be buffering. Like, come on, bro. For real. And then, then like, like, don't keep it real. Oh, if you pay for a fight, you're a super sucker. If you pay for a boxing fight, 
Now, if you have like people, now here we go with the instance. Now, Re, my man Re, can, he can attest to this shit. Now, Re, now if you have a party, you should pay for the fight. Because we had a fight party, wanted to have all these hoes over, all these drinks. Re, tell them, and here go these assholes. They want to stream the fight. Did that shit work? Fuck no. Fucking Mary Mayweather up on the joint, skipping and shit. Here go Mayweather. Huh, 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 huh. Buffering, 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 buffering. Fight over. We still in round two. Everybody left. <laughs> Everybody left. We just whole assholes, dude. <laughs> nah, man. If you having people over, you got to pay for the fight. All right? Now, if you at home by yourself want to check it in, definitely got to stream it, right? Yeah, we learned. I swear it works one time, though. Motherfuckers thought it was the vibe. Yo, it works one time. The Yard had a crazy fight party with the stream. After that, it was all a dream. Mello, first of all, yes, that's what we did. Nobody gave a fuck about the fight. Let me tell you something about Nobody gives a fuck about the fight. The fight is just a reason for people to party, all right? The sooner we realize that, ain't nobody going to a fight party with their boxing scorecard out. Oh, he got some good jabs in there. Yeah, that was a good hook. Oh, yeah, his percentage of hits is 94, but his opponent's percentage is 60. Nobody gives a shit about the fight. And I'll be honest with you about this, too. Nobody really gives a shit about sports. Like, Ohio State, right? The, one of the biggest colleges in the world. You think them college kids give a shit who wins, lose, and draws? Hell no. But they're going to the tailgate. Same, like nobody gives a shit. The Cleveland Browns. I've been to probably ten Cleveland Brown games, right? The most littest fans in the world. Do they give a shit that their team sucks? No, they just want to party and drink for real. I gotta understand this. Sports is the busy biggest excuse for people to drink and have and party for real. Exactly. Sports are the biggest excuse for people to drink. Bears, bro. Of course they're invested, but here goes the thing. If you told somebody, yo, you like, like, listen, here you go. Your sports team will win you a lot. Your team will win way more, but you can't party no more. You gotta stay home and watch the games by yourself. People ain't doing that shit. First of all, tailgates in general are lit. Tailgates are the best. Yeah, don't nobody care. Of course it's going to be. Of course there's going to be diehards. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, just going to be ass. The tailgate at the road game is the glitch. The tailgate at the road game, the glitch. Jesse, you're some ass. Cornhole is, bro. I don't understand the cornhole. Cornhole is the whitest thing in America. It is. It is. Now, one of her volleyball parents is like a super sweat at cornhole. Like, he's cracked. It made me feel like I was pointless at ever playing that shit. Have you ever run into a, a sweaty cornhole guy? That shit ruins everything. Now, now, I feel like when people like run into me and Madden, like, it just ruins everything. It just ruins the whole aspect of it. For real. Now I know why to be bitching about skill-based matchmaking. No, they don't even go four for four. See, that's what you what they do is they they first shot, they put it so you can't get nothing. They put the bitch literally right there so you can't slide nothing in there. I'm like, what the what type of psycho are you? Spike ball is cracked. Spike ball is cracked. No, you have no idea, Mello. See, we, we probably all play cornhole for fun and think, like, oh, I'm pretty good at it, right? Yeah, I'm good at it. No. You meet a sweat, you'll never want to play this shit again, bro. Swear to God. It's pointless. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. I feel like I can protect, I can perfect, I can perfect, like, three or four things in life, right, boys? Like, a, a human skill can't do everything. Cornhole is one of the things I've, I, I've, I've eliminated from my life. Like, golf... That's eliminated from my life. I'm not wasting time trying to get good at golf. I'm not. You know, I'm 34. It's just not on the list of things I want to get good at. 
Because I feel like if you try to stretch your skills so much, you're going to lose some of them somewhere. For real, for real. Darts, I'm not investing time in that. No. Disc golf, no. Bowling, no. Lacrosse, yeah. Bowling. Bowling is the best date, though. I'm telling you, if y'all young, bowling is a great date. Because, one, you can make fun of her. You can be an asshole. You can either be good. Like, bowling is a great date because no matter if you're ass or you're good, you can spin it to a positive, for real, for real. Like, if you're ass, you can just be a goofball and just be ass and be funny. If you're tough, you can just talk shit. You know what I'm saying? Go normal and go to the playground and play pickup. Play pickup what? Pickup bowling? Young girl, what are we talking about here? Bowling can show... Exactly, Don. can show character. Pete Weber. Yeah, like... <laughs> bocce ball. Kiss me if I get a strike. Yeah, you have the personality of a fucking mailman. <laughs> Kiss me if I get a strike. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's, that's the line you need to play right there, bro. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a golfer. Might work. Pool, pool is something I wish I was good at though. Really, pool is some swaggy ass shit to be good at, isn't it? Pool, that when you're good at pool, that pool got some swag for real, for real. Yeah. Pool is some cool shit, ain't it? Yo, ain't it crazy to be good at pool? That's some cool shit. That's some cool shit. Pool not an old head. See, pool's an old head game because you had to be outside to play pool. You can't play that shit online. You know what I'm saying? But that's some cool shit to be good at. Right now, CP2 is playing roll around in the bed because he doesn't isn't falling asleep. No, being elite at pool is not the best. Let's settle that. It's not the best. Being elite at Madden, fucking awesome. All right. Enough of enough of uh. What you gonna call it? The worst date spot, the movies. The movies 100%. Unless y'all already established. Alright, and that's the end of the plebs being in here. It's been real, boys. Alright. I am narrowing down the boss bot wars for the boss the boss bot wars for what's it called the format we have narrowed it down boys this is this is this is my perfect bot wars format it took me a while to figure it out my man exterminator four months what's up man Appreciate the prime, my guy. Now, listen. Now, all I get 
all year, all off season. Can I play in Bot Wars? 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 We're going to have an open tournament on Thursday, <clears throat> August 19th. August 19th, I think we have a, an open Bot Wars tournament for one spot. For one spot. An open, but I don't give a shit who you are. I don't. It will be Xbox. The only... Now, if I have to do this, I haven't taught the Players Lounge. I'm sure they'll be all the way in and hosting this tournament. But I haven't talked to them. It will be Xbox for one spot. All you need is you need a Discord, you need a mic, and you need a camera. If you don't have that and you win the tournament, you will be banished from every goddamn Madden stream on Twitch. Banished. Every, every viable Madden stream, I am a mod in. So you will be banned. You will be banned. So that's how it works, boys. And I'm sure, because we're not wasting time here, okay? But any, I, I might make a rule. You can't have like any. You can't have like over ten thousand dollars earned in MCS or something. I don't want like Wesley joining the shit and for to win. Like you know what I'm saying? He probably would because he's like a crumb. We might need to have yeah. We might need to have like a. But at the end of the day, yeah, they, no, no pros. I don't think the pros would really join this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, Journey would join this shit and sweat. Then sit on the camera like. Three wreck, three wreck. No, so anybody can join now. Whoever wins on Thursday. Now, Thursday will be a bootleg stream, boys. All right? We're just going to check in on people's streams. It's not going to be a crazy production. I'll probably be playing Madden uh, while we watch. Right, boys? It'll be like a watch party. Watch different people's streams. And until it gets to, like, the final four or something, then we'll lock in a little bit more. Right? So, then Friday, that one person is going to take on three other people. In the just like Bot Wars 2, where we got to play in on Friday a four man tournament to see who's going to be the challenger for Saturday. So essentially, that Thursday tournament just wins a spot to get into the Friday tournament. That's going to be our thing. The main event is the 21st, the dub, the play in, or the play in for the gauntlet is the 20th. And the, the, the startup or the original tournament for anybody can join. It's going to be free to join. You want to play in the shit. All you got to do is press go. That's it. I'm not charging shit. You don't got to be a sub to me. You don't got to be a sub to nobody. You want to play in Bot Wars, this is your chance. Seriously. I don't give a shit. I don't know yet, Marty. Re fucking lax. Re fucking lax with the Karen ass questions. What time is what time is this starting? What do, do I gotta show up early? Should I warm up first? Should I eat? Like, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. Nineteenth, twentieth, twenty-first. All right, boys. Anybody can play on Thursday. Literally anybody. Well, if you got to work, that sucks. Okay? You're not winning bot wars then. Whoopity fucking do. We're not scheduling shit around Marty's work schedule. <laughs> and people will know. If you're that worried, take off Thursday and Friday. If you're that worried. Madden 22. Shit, we might play Madden 17, man. We might. Who knows? Who knows, man? Good question, Trojan Horse. That's the end of the podcast. Appreciate you guys coming by. Holy fuck, bro. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. Ugh.
No, y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. But on now, I don't have the three now. The five guys for the gauntlet. We already figured this out. Now, I'll be honest. I put Vols first because Vols is getting carried away, bro. Vols think he like the biggest. He's the he's the man when he has a losing record in bot wars. Vols is first. So he has to win one game to stay on Boss Bot Wars. <laughs> How the fuck you got an 8 and 5 record? You played 13 Bot Wars games? What the fuck? <laughs> so Vols is... I uh, Listen, he going to earn his spot. Well, well, he's 8 and 5. He's probably going to win the first game, right? Now... We need Earl on Bot Wars. I'm I'm pretty sure Earl. All right, after Vo, after Vos is the first one, then it's Salty. We got Salty, the Ice Wall Demon, coming back. Salt Nation, 25k strong. Salty second, third. I put pretty much the only crowd favorite. Pretty much the only person y'all root for. I had to put this person higher because, I'll be honest, he was pretty much the best. He was pretty much the best contestant we've had. That's right. Bobby V is third. I had to put, I love, he was just, he was pretty much the best that we had. Then I had to put Jay Bird because Jay Bird did kind of win Boss Bot Wars 3 when he whooped everybody's ass after the duo. So, Jay Bird is second. And we had to put Earl first. It was Earl year last year. The 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 season one bot wars, the, the Earl first year champion got to be number one. Now, I still have three spots for the play-in. All right? I couldn't, I couldn't change those five guys. Do we need Rag back on Friday night for the play-in? Now, I have three names. I haven't decided these three names. I haven't reached out to anybody. I actually even thought about giving Trey his shot back. I thought about unbanning Trey. It's a new year. I thought about it. All right, Ragusa's a lock. Spamming Ragusa and BG? BG is a lock. I'm telling you, BG is getting the call. I'm pretty sure. Salty's already in the gauntlet, bro. Spamming buttons. That's pretty good. Now, I, I, obviously, I've watched Spam and play. I think I've watched him play more than I've listened to him. Y'all think he'd be a W for Bot Wars? Y'all think he, y'all think he would get it popping? I don't know where Lou is at, dude. Lou, <laughs> Lou might be locked in Puerto Rico, bro. I don't know, dude. So if we go, so if we go rag, BG, spamming, and whoever wins on Thursday, on Friday, Friday night, <laughs> just spelling B. Yo, ever since he said, what was that word? What was the word? He's like, no, W, shut up. It's not spelled like that. <laughs> Yo, what was the word? Yo, what was the fucking word that, that Lou, mischievous? Oh shit, Miss T. Yeah, there's a T in mischievous. Oh, that was the worst. He was down bad after that. So I think so. Do we reach out to those three guys? Do we reach out to Spamming, Ragusa, and BG? Y'all think that's a good three? And then whoever wins on Thursday will be the fourth for Friday night. And then whoever wins Friday 
plays the gauntlet. Now, I have the theme. I'm working on promotion. You guys know it's going to go crazy leading up to Madden. It's going to go crazy. I still need y'all help since I don't have my Twitter account, but we will get it popping. Stiff? Stiff is going to join Bot. Stiff not going to join Bot Wars. And I'll be honest, I am cooking up a secret boss. I have a plan for a secret boss. I do have a plan. I would love a Xerxes versus Skomo prelim before the main event on Saturday. Because, you know, I would, but, you know, honestly, Skomo's not a good... He's not comp for Xerxes. He's not. No. Skimbo has turned down Bot Wars twice. It's the only human being walking this earth that has turned down Bot Wars twice. Everybody else signed up. Oh, yeah. Xerxes, Xerxes, like, good. Skomo's like a pack opener. <laughs> Cece, Cece and Xerxes. Cece would be Xerxes. Well, honestly, yeah. When you're like, when you're like as good as Skimbo, like you can only, there's no benefit to playing Earl. <laughs> like it could only be bad for you. So you're right. It's, <laughs> it's hard to ask a good player to come play Earl you, you have everything to lose and nothing to gain. Yeah, CC is pretty good. Little man, what can we do with little man? I mean, who do y'all like little man over? Y'all, I mean, I got I to gotta take Ragusa over little man, right? I, little man? Oh, AJ little man or Madden little man? Oh, AJ beats Skomo. AJ beats Skomo. Confirm. Xerxes beat Joke last year. Xerxes is like sweaty. Gut Fox for Xerxes? I did reach out to Gut Fox for Boss by Wars 3. He said he just got the baby, so he couldn't really play. So we'll see. I just want to I just want to lock down the format, but I do want everybody an opportunity to play. How many people do you think we get to sign up for the Boss by Wars play-in tournament? Xerxes got way better drip than than Skomo. 200 Yeah, it does count down one. There will be no weekend league. I think the first weekend it's not going to be no weekend league the 21st. We'll see. I hope there's no weekend league. It honestly it really doesn't matter. It's still going to pop. Weekend League or not. Nobody's going to know how to play the game. Everybody's going to suck. Oh, my God. Just remember, Vos was, Vos was running fucking single back wing. Before Twitch taught him how to play. Just remember. Just remember, Vos was running single back wing before Twitch taught him how to play. You don't need a good team. Hey, anything can happen first week. Who knows? I, I will tell you, Vols is the favorite, though. I would of all the people, he's the favorite. He's the favorite. Who y'all think is the favorite? Cause he's been lab in the beta. He had a play date to play the he brought somebody over his house to play the beta and lab. Like, come on, dude. Vols is the fucking favorite. He know what playbook he's running. He know what plays work. Ragusa? Uh, all right, let me.
let me let me put this put this email out or this DM out here. I just DM'd those three. Yeah, Vos had a play date. I, 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 no, it was nasty. But he's going to be tough because of it. He's going to be tough because of it. The Pebble might join the tournament. He might. Nine unbanned requests. Nine unbanned requests. Here we go, boys. Nine. I mean, Maddie can play. There it is. Nine unbanned requests. My man T Lens. Hey, W, Eagles fan here. You think we should bring back Nick Foles? Hey, W, not sure if you saw what I said, but Eagles fan here. You think we should bring back Nick Foles? What do you think? Ward banned them just weird. It might, I'll be honest, boys, this might be a might be a rough ban for my man Ward. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind, Ward. Good work. Good work. Good work. <laughs> Good work, Ward. Good work. He's back, though. Lil Xan fan. I, I, you know, I, I, yeah. Good, good band, AJ. Good band. Tides of endless murlocs. This dude is scum, bro. Uh, this dude is scummy. I don't like this guy. I don't like the cut of his jib. What do people be like? Yo, listening to Nickelback, you fucking try hard. <laughs> they ain't right at Tally. He right at Tally. This dude might be hell. Lopine? Look at Ward with the big hammer. Ward with the big hammer. I'll support Ice God. I do. Listen to the Ice God. Braves. Whoa! That's the guy that got me to say that wild. See? So we talking about. See? See? Maybe he's trying to get me. Who wants free sloppy? (laughs) 
Hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want sloppy from someone in the chat. Any donors? I'll let you smack my penis. What a god, Marty. I love you. That's not a good sequence. That's not a good sequence. Not a good sequence for Marty. Not a good sequence. All caps too? Jeez. He's back. He's back. He's in there. Nasty sequence, bro. Nasty sequence. No, he said he wanted us. He said he wanted to slide. It was. He said you don't. You don't gotta lie to us, man. You don't gotta lie to us. <sighs> Boss Bot Wars Four, August. It's gonna be August nineteenth, August twentieth, and August twenty first. He did. Nasty. It's all nasty. It's all nasty. But all right, boys. Like I said, August 19th, August 20th, August 21st is the main event. Hopefully, we'll be trending again. Yes, we'll play marbles in the pot. We'll play marbles in the bot wars. All right? We will have a bot. We'll have a marbles race for Buku money during bot wars. One marbles race. We'll play marbles tonight, though, if y'all with it. If we actually get enough likes on the TikTok drop of the night. But this uh this was the Need a Podcast episode 136. August 21st, write it down on your calendar.